Hello and welcome back. In this week's video we're looking at Josiah Worley. Seems like a really nice guy. He's been posting for a few years now, usually live, sometimes daily. He's got a poltergeist. Yeah, I'm plastered. Oh yeah, oh, no. very sad. He's also got a drinking problem. Knock over the cups. At first it seems like he's having a great time sharing his journey with his poltergeist in his oh, house. You, you saw that. You saw that. That happened. Then I went to go grab a drink and for some fucking... Are you joking? Can you please... Stop? Do you see? Or the minute that people find out that a lot of shit happens at my place, I can't have any friends. I might be really drunk, but I just read this comment saying what's in the hat. Anyways. He even goes as far as trying to debunk the activity There's himself. Nothing in the hat. But night after night, stuff keeps happening. Mixed with alcohol, things start to take a dark turn. Am I tripping? Do you see that? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm leaving. What's good, bro? Bro. Bro. Are you good, bro? Are you good, bro? Do you see any drinks? Did you guys see it move? Bro. As I was getting ready to leave, my phone almost died. And things turn up a notch, and he starts hearing things. What happened to light? It's a bittersweet moment. Excitement. But what's coming next? His drinking gets heavier. There is no wires, no strings. You got my hands right here. But something's moving on my goddamn table and that's that's really irritating. Please stop, please don't. Please, please, please. You can hear it in his voice now. He's starting to get really nervous. Okay, so all those chips got knocked over. You pick them up. How about that? You can do that. You fucking joking me? I'm having a hard time believing he'd be able to fake this. He sounds like he can barely stand up, let alone orchestrate such an elaborate hoax. Do something. It's around this time, it sounds like he's starting to unravel a bit. Ooh, what the f Causing him to drink more. Shot? <laughs> Shot, just, just straight up. Everything's turning on. Everything's turning on. I'm gonna stand in the corner. Maybe not by this board i'm gonna stand by the window <laughs> you gotta feel for this guy this feels very raw and things just seem to get darker and darker for him bless him is that my imagination is this real life okay hey ma Are you evil? Are you my mom? Are you a ghost? Make that f***ing cup fly off the table. If you're evil. That's not a cup, dude. What are you doing? It's around this time he starts getting support from his followers. And somebody what are you mentioned doing? it could be his uh, mother who's deceased. But it starts affecting him in other ways. Watch. I just had the most vivid nightmare I've ever had in my whole entire life. It was fun. I woke up yelling. <laughs> <laughs> this even happens when he has his friends round. But he tries to get out, tries to act a normal life, but he's still got to come home and face it. And then this it's happens. Things start to take a really dark turn. He did go on to say he didn't know if he was pushed or if he tripped. He'd be drunk. But watch, are those two red eyes? Or is it just something digital? 
He said he didn't notice at the time. Around this time, he started spending quite a Two bit of time with friends. Two things I don't want to right now. One, this f***ing closet's open. Why? Why? I, I, I swear to God, this is my first time being back in so long. Um, also, I didn't know that was a thing. So I'm going to, uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go grab everything that I possibly can. <laughs> okay. Okay. Try me, bro. What's good? He has a lot of followers that care about him and asked him to give up the drink, stating the poltergeist was taking advantage of his vulnerable state. What's good? I'm in, I'm in the closet. <laughs> I'm so scared, actually. <laughs> All right, turn on the light. I'm in the closet. All right, what's good? What's good, bro? I, I don't know if I'm even recording. I don't know if I'm okay <laughs> with being here. Um, I'm going to end up leaving. I think this was the last straw for Josiah. Dude, I'm plastered. All right, I can't drive. I think his mental health suffering is starting to lose it. So sad. I'm not a bitch. At least I didn't think I was, but I'm starting to progressively become more scared. I just want to give him a hug. I feel so sad for him. I've had a brother with alcohol problems. I know it's not it's easy like, to give up. Oh God, you just can't really handle that. That's not real life, is it? Oh, I need to take another shot. I need to take another shot. No. Oh. <laughs> Tears. Why? <laughs> Am I right? Like, why? I'm not really sure if you guys care about this, but, uh... I got really fucking drunk. But because I was really, really fucking drunk, I felt like this shit was so much worse than it normally is. Uh... I ended up leaving, somebody came and got me, but I'm gonna head out and I probably won't be back today or tomorrow or the day after. I really need to stop drinking so much. I told the lady who rent this room to me that I'm leaving and she said that I'm the third person to do that shortly after moving in. I've been good. Uh, I'm achy. Apparently when you drink a shit ton and then you just stop out of nowhere, your body kind of doesn't know what to do. Anyways, um, I'm currently kicking it with uh, two really awesome people here. Uh, after that whole shit went down, I ended up grabbing as much as I could. As I was leaving, the lights turned off and I kind of like slid down the stairs. It was very terrifying. Um, still not drinking as much. I still do drink to help with like the tremors and shit like that. Um, something that's really fucking bugging me is that shit's happening over here too. So I'm like, oh man. I'm pretty sure whatever the f was there is like here or with me, like following and shit. I'm so I don't mean to get emotional, dude. This shit's terrifying. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted. This is literally what I've been having to deal with. Um, shit, I think I just broke. Oh. My God. Oh my God. Hold on. That chair just fell down. As f oh, hey. Oh, I just stepped on a fucking cap. Hey. What um. Is that sound? I, I don't mean to put these people on blast, but I'm fucking dunzos, okay? Um, not only is there a lot of weird fucking shit. This is relentless, and for the debunkers out there, he did most of his TikTok posts live, hence the pixelating and clip jumps. I know from experience this is common, so it makes you question if there is more out there and this is genuine. Why put somebody through this? Um, life is kind of lame, drunk, expecting something to happen, but nothing's ever occurred. <sighs> Thank you.
I think I'm gonna start drinking again. Definitely gonna start drinking again. Can you imagine having to deal with this day in, day out? And nobody believes you? Who's still there? <sighs> this time I have a person who's sitting there. Was that a candle? Yeah. All right, so, um, you can yeah, you can evaluate that as much as you want. It's so lit. It'd be nice to be able to sleep. Just once. Um, lights are turning on and shit like that. It's really early in the morning. I have to go. Doesn't matter where I stay, man. I can't catch a prank. Oh, I really hope you stop for a little bit so I can sleep. It was inevitable. It starts to affect its health. Um, I'm really sorry for the long overdue update. Holy fuck. Um, I've been sick with like a really bad fever. Like, you can visibly see me sweating. And these are just a few of the dozens and dozens of clips he's got. Go over to his TikTok page, guys. Go and show him some love. Get a following. And this is the story of Josiah and his poltergeist that seems to be following him from home to home. A lovable guy, Josiah, we're sending you all our love. We do care. Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me. Is this how it's supposed to be?